Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Creation Kit for both Skyrim Special Edition and Anniversary Edition. I'll also be showing you how to change your any settings so that you can load the DLCs within the Creation Kit. Let's get started. Okay, so head to your Steam library and go to the search at the top and type in Skyrim. It should display the Skyrim Special Edition Creation Kit. If it doesn't, you can change the filter to Tools. Once you click Install, select the drive that you want. In this case, it's the G drive for me. And then just wait for it to download. So when you check your downloads, you'll see the progress there. It's not too big, about 70 meg nowadays. Shouldn't take too long, depending on your internet speed. And then just wait for that to finish. And then once that has finished, go ahead and click the Launch button. And the first thing it will do is ask if you want to unpack the scripts. You'll click yes. And then again, depending on your machine specifications, this might take a little while. Um, it can take five, 10 minutes. Again, really does vary. Uh, this is dealing with, as you can see, about 15,000 really small files. So just bear with it, let it do its thing, and we'll wait for it to finish. OK, so here we are, as you can see, it's just finishing up. And once that has finished, it should automatically load the creation kit. As you'll see it do in a moment. There we go. So it loads up the creation kit. You've got all these wonderful little windows here. Uh, for me, they're quite small, especially on an ultra wide. So I like to resize them to whatever I like. Uh, again, depending on your screen, your resolution and whatnot, and just your personal preferences as you'll build, as you get more familiar with the creation kit, uh, you will change this to, to whatever format you like, really. I just kind of uh, go with what I've used for many, many years. Uh, you can also open additional windows, but that's something I might well cover in another video. So arrange all of your windows first and then close the creation kit when you're done. OK, so the next step that you'll need to take is open up your Skyrim directory. For me, that is on my G drive, and it usually is situated in Steam, Steam Apps Common. You'll need to find out where yours is. And once you're in there, locate the Creation Kit Ini file and open it with Notepad++ or just Notepad. It's easier with a third party program. Once you've got that open, you will need to head to the top under General and add these two lines here. So it's going to be B allow multiple master files equals one and B allow multiple master loads equals one. Next thing you need to do is scroll right the way down near the bottom under Archive and under S Resource Archive List 2, you'll need to add Dawnguard.bsa and separate all of these. Hearthfires with an S.bsa and dragonborn.bsa. I think the S is a mistake, but regardless, that's how Bethesda decided to name it. And then hit save when you are done. And that is just about it for another Creation Kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section down below. Hit that like, subscribe button, and the bell notification if you want to catch more videos like this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.